So, welcome to Inoculum, connecting the other. Thank you all for coming and a very warm welcome also to our speakers and performers and of course also our guests. Um, maybe we have uh, some more seats for you here at the front if you want to sit. And I don't know um, whose bags these are, if these people are coming back. Um, do you want to sit? Or <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm Teresa Schubert, the curator and co-organizer of this event. And I will give a brief introduction and then hand over to our first speaker. The inoculum itself is the material in test tubes and petri dishes where microorganisms are injected or taken from for research, diagnostics or cultivation. This biotechnical method is called inoculation. Taking this as a metaphor, the Inoculum Conference wants to initiate and cultivate an interdisciplinary debate and interspecies exchange. The idea for this event was incubated in the framework of the international research project Fusarum Chip, Growing Computers from Slime Mold. It examined the potential of slime mold, a well-known lab organism, as a computing substrate through its self-assembled and fault-tolerant networks and aimed at building a functional biomorphic computing device, a hybrid chip. Um, being a scientific project within the so-called Future and Emerging Technology Scheme, it was the only project in this program that included an art university as part of their investigation. Um, being an artist inside this project um, is a challenge, but also a great opportunity. So my fascination for slime molds started um, five years back when I was living in Austria and walking through the forests. And um, I was reading some scientific papers and uh, this organism made me curious enough to order my first slime mold sample and start experiments at my home. And slime molds are a biological curiosum. They are one single cell, yet they can grow huge. Their habitat is the forest, yet there are no fungus or plant. They can move forward, but there are no animal. The mega cell develops a richly branched network structure, also called the plasmodium, to explore the environment for food. Slime molds are a success story of nature. Analyzing the DNA of different slime mold species, researchers reconstructed their evolutionary history, which turns out to date back about a billion years. That suggests that there were early pioneers arriving millions of years before um, animals um, or plants. The biologist in our research group, Martin Grubem, will talk tomorrow in detail about why this organism is so interesting to sciences, not only to biology, also engineering, computer science and biophysics. One of our artistic um, results from the feature project is the non-human rhythms performance, which is set up on the table here by our team member and sound artist Leslie Garcia. Um, she will be performing as the Interspecifics Collective tonight and the name is also suggesting that um, the partaking biomaterials are becoming performer equally to the human counterpart. Um, against this background for inoculum, the technical manipulation of nature and the significance of biomaterials is brought into the focus of our debates. Originating from Latin, in oculum means in the eye. On a scientific and cultural level, we will embark not only into an investigation of how nature can be represented, but center our eyes also on how nature can be constructed, by which methods and materials. For our conference, we situate these questions in a historical and philosophical and social context. Um, we have 12 international experts from the natural sciences, arts and philosophy who will contribute over the next two days. 
um, the subline of our conference, connecting the other. So, comparison between humans and other life forms are currently in the focus of many researchers, not only in the life sciences, it also is a popular topic in humanities. And the idea of otherness is central to sociological studies. The understanding of who and what the other is is important for knowing ourselves. For in Oculum we ask, what happens if we stop thinking in categories? What if we forget about the proclaimed human superiority and understand ourselves as an animal like any other? What if also interactions with other creatures shape our identity? For in Oculum we try to look for points of connections instead of differences. Artists take on these discourses and examine the relationship between human and other life forms in their works. In doing so, they transcend the usage of living biological matter, be it of human or animal origin, as a mere tool and enter collaborations with animate beings. Our um, artist uh, Maya Smekra, who will talk um, tomorrow, is an excellent example for testing these assumptions in her project, where she takes extreme steps to create a scenario for cohabitation and cross-species hybrid hybridization between dogs and herself. Um, this kind of blurring of borders between human and animal challenges to reconsider what being human, being animal, actually means. Agi Hain is also examining nature, but through the eyes of a critical designer. Having chosen the human body as a material for her speculative modifications, uh, her sculptures evoke to think of our future in unexpected ways. Using the body as a material, we will discuss implications uh, that will affect all of us in a very direct matter. The investigation and probing of biomaterials is a principal to topic in the Inoculum conference. The fact that biotechnical methods have spread into DIY cultures and that the knowledge thereof is more readily available has allowed also non-scientists to lay hands on experiments and simple manipulations. This is also how I learned about cultivation methods and how my fascination for the slime mold started. So, um, for the Inoculum, um, we wanted to create a space for debating all these issues. A curatorial decision was also to emphasize on the discursive aspect. After the opening lecture by Hans Günther Döberreiner, um, he will introduce us to the universe of slime mold research. There will be four panels, today, two, two today and two tomorrow. And they are followed, each is followed by a long moderated discussion. So we wanted to create the framework, or metaphorically speaking, the inoculum for profound discussions. We want to set a breeding ground for future collaborations. Finally, we will close the event with a lecture by artist and theorist Susan Anker. Amongst others, she will speak about the petri dish as a cultural icon, a very suitable symbol that I would also like to apply to our conference, where our ideas will hopefully find the right cultural medium to grow. Um, as you can see, we're not only having a conference, we also have a kind of exhibition, I would like to call it expanded talks. So each of the speakers was invited to bring an object that's important for their research, um, either um, if they're artists, something that they produce in their process, or if they're scientists, maybe an experiment, or also um, something that inspires them for their work. So um, we set up various stations. Um, you can take a paper at the front also. There's the numbers on the wall and you can read by who it is and what it is and use the breaks also to ask people questions about it. Um, so this brings me pretty much to the end of my introduction. Um, last but not least, um, I would like to thank everybody who was involved in the organization and planning of Inoculum, namely Sophia Grefe, who is sitting here, uh, Klaus Ritze at the back, and our head of the department from Bauhaus University, Ursula Damm. 
and um, everybody else who helped here in the space. So a very warm welcome to all of you. Please join us for the next hours and hopefully days for discussing and networking.